Listen at what the apostle was warning us. Acts chapter 20 and verse 29. I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among, enter in among the not church, the not having no form of mercy on God's people. Also, also, of your own selves. What? Of your own selves. Look at the so-called Christian community. That's right. Of your own selves, who shall arise? Shall men arise? What shall they do? Speak perverse perverseness to draw away the to draw away followers after, to them. After them, what should the church do? Therefore, watch. No shout. Therefore, watch. Jump. Watch. Sing. Watch. Speak in tongues. Watch. Run around the church. Watch. Watch. The Holy Ghost says. Therefore, watch. Watch. And remember, and remember that by the space, by of, three the years, space of three years, I cease I not, cease to, warn not to warn everyone. I didn't day with tears. That's what got me traveling around the world. That's right. That's right. Warning everybody. Warning. That's, right. That's right. The so-called churches today mm-hmm. is one of the biggest hypocritical rackets. Oh, yeah. They are more of a racketeer than the mafia. Yeah. They are worse racketeers than the mafia. That's right. Because they organize their hypocrisy behind church under a cross and misuse and abuse the name of Jesus at will. That's right. Even the sinner, many of them, can recognize the church antics more than some people that have been going to church. That's right. Don't be so loyal to church that you are blind. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Amen. Don't be so loyal to so-called church, to so-called organization, that you are blind. That's right. I hear of the abuse that is going on in many of these churches. Yeah. That the people are blind where bishops use scare tactics. Imagine bishops. His mythology of rebuking people is mm-hmm. smacking people in the face. Grown men. Grown men. Grown women getting smacked in the face by some bishop, some reverend. That's right. And you stand there and take it. Take it. Grown men and women are asked to stand in front of the church and bishop take a paddle. Yeah. And spank you on your behind. My Lord. Grown men, grown women stand there and be spanked by bishop. Haven't you waked up yet? He just have a fetish. That's it. Am I right? That's right. But you call it discipline. Discipline. Discipline should never be given outside of the discipline that's in the scriptures. That's right. That's right. A grown man asked to drop his pants and underwear in church to spank him. Lord. Women are asked to raise your skirt. In church, in front of the congregation, my Lord, so my Lord. Bishop can spank you, my Lord. And you are dumb enough to think that's God's will. That's God's will being done in the synagogues, mm. which the Scripture calls synagogue of Satan, of Satan. being done in church, mm. and they use Scripture to manipulate followers. Who are ignorant of scripture and you think he's doing God's will. God's will. For I know this. Glory to God. Give chapter and verse again. Acts 20 and verse 29. I know this. And after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you. These not preachers mm-hmm. are not just wolves. Grievous. Grievous. Grievous wolves. Vicious. Oh yes. A grievous wolf love a lamb enough to destroy him. That's right. Not to love him to take care of him. No. To destroy him. Destroy it. The false prophet loved church followers just enough oh, yeah. to take advantage of you, yeah. to destroy you, to lie to you, right. to deceive you, yeah. to trick you. Is Anytime it? a man can stand in front of you, and I know they're doing it here in Chicago because they're doing it everywhere. And act like he's in the spirit preaching. And all of a sudden he stopped. The Lord just spoke to me. (laughs) Then he go off into some fake tongue. Aunt your mama, aunt your mama, aunt your mama, aunt your mama waffles. (laughs) The Lord told me to tell you there's $50,000 in the house. house. And the Lord said if you give it, 
you will get a blessed one million fold. And if you don't get it, such calamity will come upon your house. That's right. That's a wolf. That's a wolf. That's a wolf. For he cared nothing about your spiritual well-being. No. Church is supposed to be a spiritual hospital. So if I'm spiritually ill, and that's what sin thing about, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual illness. That's right. And that's what the world is suffering from, illness from birth to now. That's right. Anytime a man will run after a man like he would a woman, well, that's an illness. That's an illness. Anytime a woman will argue with a woman because she refused to sleep with her again, why, that's an illness. Anytime you're a young man who want to wear your pants down, showing your underwear, truly, that's an illness. You don't want to carjack men and women and rape young girls and sodomize young boys and murder your own flesh and blood. Yes, you have an illness. The whole head is sick. What? In the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Follow me. Why would you be stricken anymore? Listen at this. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Why should will you be, you be stricken, stricken anymore? Anymore. He will revolt more he and more. Will. And that's what's happening now. Oh, yeah. There's a religious revolt. That's right. A revolt that is taking place under the heading of religion. That's right. And that revolt, that rebellion is not aimed at the devil. No. That rebellion is aimed at God himself. That's right. The world, these are religious people. Religious. Speaking against God every day. That's right. All over social media. Somebody with some old false prophet even got over social media in some church and told the people, forget the poor. Oh, what do you get out of giving to the poor? Can you imagine a preacher saying that? There's different forms of poverty. There's natural poverty, having nothing to eat, and there's spiritual poverty because you don't have spiritual poverty. Uh, nourishment as being taught the things of God so therefore the churches are spiritually weak oh, yes. a preacher forget the, poor. forget the poor that goes to show you he's all out for himself and his pockets and this epidemic where these religious leaders are for themselves they doing it in the church they're doing it in the synagogue and they're doing it in the mosque. That's right. They become so powerful, have such a large following. That's right. Until God becomes suppressed. And then they lift themselves up and allow the people to lift themselves up and then make the preacher, the imam, the rabbi equal, equal. to God himself. That's right. God has no equals. No equals. No. God have no rivals. No, no. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Why should you be stricken anymore? Why should you be stricken anymore? Anymore. You will revolt more and more. You will revolt more, more and more. more. The whole head is sick. Leadership. The whole head. The whole head is sick. It's all messed up. And the whole heart faints. The whole heart faints. Faint. From the sole of the foot. Look here. Look at the condition. From the sole of the foot. Even unto the head. Even to the head. There is no soundness in it. No soundness. No soundness. And because there is no soundness, the religious groups that are spread across America, they're just like Israel was when Moses was up on the mountain getting the commandments from the great Jehovah. That's right. The scripture plainly states, Israel rose up. The rose up to play. Up to play. And because religion has become this mass playhouse, you can live together now and not marry in religion. Oh yeah. You can smoke and drink and party in religion. Yeah. Amen. You can make all the babies you want and don't take care of none of them right. in religion. That's right. Two men can get married, two women can get married in religion. Nobody say nothing. Say nothing. You can gamble, you can play the lottery in religion. Yeah. You can dye your hair, wear wigs, fake eyelashes and ankle chains and look like Jezebel and have your face all painted in religion and grandma can wear a mini skirt and grandpa can wear skin tight pants. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now 
think of this. How are you godly? And you're just like the sinner. Yeah. How are you changed? And you're just like you was before you claimed to be a Christian. That's right. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. And what? And that ye may put different. Hear this. Glory to God. Amen. What I look like. Coming to Chicago in a full length mink. <laughs> My Lord. A full length chinchilla. Mm. Mink hat. My wife with a silver fox. That's right. Long fingernails with diamonds on the end. That's right. Big earrings, diamonds, and lipstick all red like Rudolph. <laughs> That's right. There have to be a change and a difference between your past life and your present godly life. That's right. And that change has ceased to be taught in modern church. That's right. It was taught years ago. But modern church is think about no change. No, no. Only thing taught in modern church, all modern unscriptural churches have the same message. God got a miracle with your name on it. Yeah. Prosperity. Get rich. Big house. Fancy car, a big wallet, a big bank account. That's right. They let the preacher go get a job and go to work. That's right. If you want that stuff, work like everybody else. Amen. Are you listening? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Says what? And that ye may put difference. Put a difference. Between holy. Holy. And unholy. And unholy. And between unclean. Unclean. And clean. And clean. That's right. One Fella said on social media, I like Pastor Jennings. He's a gatekeeper mm. because he kept the people in lies. Mm. <laughs> you know, men have gotten so mentally warped. Yeah. They believe they're wiser than God. That's right. Let us understand something about the scriptures. Everybody all right? If you're not, I hope you manage before this service is over. Mm. Let us understand the purpose of scripture, Bible. The scriptures, many call the Bible basic instructions before leaving earth. I don't say that. Biblical instructions before leaving earth. Yeah. Biblical. biblical. Before you die. Oh, yes. Not basic, biblical. That's right. What is the purpose of having the scriptures? To show you what God expects out of your life and to teach you the intelligence of God, the thoughts of God, the standard of God, the judgment of God, the laws of God, the precepts of God, which change your mind, soul, body, and spirit to live the way he wants you to live, to act the way he wants you to act, and to go the place he allows you to go and to conduct yourself according to his precepts. That's it. If that is not being taught in church, what are you going for? Just to sell dinners? Yeah. Sell sweet potato pies and pound cake? Hmm. Sell square jello bowls? <laughs> That's right. Sell fish dinners and potato salad? Yeah. And go to hell after you eat the potato salad? Right. Where's the change at in your cigarette sucking so called Christian life? That's right. You got two or three wives. Christian. Christian. Two and three husbands. Christian. Christian. And you follow some dumb dog that claimed to be a preacher. That's oh, right. Pastor Jennings, man, why you got to call names so much? Give me Isaiah. Isaiah. Chapter 56. Chapter 56. And verse 10. And verse 10. Let's, let's, let's see what the Bible says because they criticize me. Yes, they do. I had one man say, I like you. But you just called too many names for me. <laughs> the Bible says this. Whatsoever things are written aforetime is written for our learning. Yeah. It's written. I learned it. So I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. All right. Let's have this. Isaiah 56 and verse 10. All right. His watchmen are blind. The watchman is the preacher. He's supposed to be watching out for your soul. Mm -hmm. The preacher is supposed to be looking out for your soul. Looking out for your soul, which means this. What you learn will do two things. 
save you or damn you. That's right. What you learn, what you learn. does two things. Save your soul, damn your soul. Stop looking at a church because your family go there. That's right. The Lord don't have no family church. No. A church is not right because your father is the pastor. No. No. And your uncle is the pastor. That's right. Who cares how many family members is there? That's right. The only thing make the church right is the scriptures. When the church go away from the scriptures, it's wrong. wrong. I don't care if your daddy is the bishop. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? That's right. Hear what the word of God says. His watchmen are blind. The watchman is the leader. Would you get in a taxi cab with a man that's blind? Blind. <laughs> I mean blind. Yeah. Not just medically blind. Blind. You know, Stevie Wonder can say. Hmm. But would you drive right with him if he's driving? <laughs> no way. If you he pulled up to your house in a Hoover. Oh, Steve, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Where you want to go? Would you actually get in the car with Mr. Wonder? <laughs> Are you listening to what the old man is telling you? You're Amen. not a fool. Amen. So then, if the watchman is blind, watchman. then what? They are all ignorant. All ignorant. Spiritually? Their scriptural capacity to understand God's word, right. they are dead. Ignorant. They are all they are all ignorant. Let us understand Bible college don't make a preacher. No. So if you go to some church and you brag them because your bishop got a PhD, a DD, the LLD, the study of philosophy, who cares? Who cares about that? Preaching is a divine act of God. Right. School makes students. The Lord make preachers. That's right. Do you understand this? Yeah. So if there's any of you here going to Bible college and you already paid your intuition, you might as well get your money back yeah. because you just don't graduate an educated fool. That's it. Are you listening? His watchmen are blind. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. What? They are all dumb dogs. Now, how many of you got a sign outside of your house with a dog? That says, beware of dog. Raise your hand. That's good. I'm pretty sure. Now, if I was a thief <laughs> and I see that sign and want to break into your crib, I'm going to look around for that dog first. That's right. And if your dog run up to the gate, I don't care how built he is, a pit bull. If you run up and I see his mouth moving like he's barking. <laughs> But no sound is coming out like a silent movie. I'm going to be like, is this for real? That's right. I mean, his head is just jumping. <laughs> no, sound. no sound. What kind of dog is he? Dumb dogs. <laughs> He's running to the gate. And you're like, <laughs> what is it? Dumb dogs. Now, take that back to preaching. If the man don't preach from the book, Purely, scripturally, the book, no theology, no philosophy, no ideology, nope. not I think, I suppose, I feel. The Bible don't care about your feeling. That's right. It's God's way or nobody's way. That's right. That's right. If I don't stick with the book of truth, book of truth. what am I? They're all dumb dogs. I'm a dumb dog. Dumb dogs. Why? They cannot bark. Cannot bark mean you cannot preach. That's right. You call this preacher. And you love you. Because you went I saw your mother. And I saw your brother. I saw your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. They ain't preaching. No. That's amusement. That's it. That's entertainment. That's right. Apostle Paul said, having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech. Of speech. When a God maker preacher, he don't need no organ to play with him. No. He don't need no organ to play behind him. He don't need support from the choir. That's right. He's just going to preach the word of right. God and don't care who like it or who don't like it. That's right. 
Are you listening? They are all dumb dogs. They're all dumb dogs. Dumb dogs. They, 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 they cannot, cannot bark. Sleeping. Wait a minute. What kind of preacher are they? Sleeping. What else? Lying down. Lying down. Loving to slumber. He's lazy. Yea, they are greedy dogs. What? They are greedy dogs. What they want. Which can never have enough. That's many of your pastors sitting in here. That's right. Many of you pastors that churches you go to, you're Amen. being led by a greedy non-preaching dog. Greedy dogs. That's why the only time he get in the spirit when it's offering time. That's right. That's the only time he hear from heaven. The Lord just spoke to him. There's ten thousand dollars in the house. You old liar. That's a lie. The Lord ain't told him nothing. That's right. That's his greedy pockets calling for ten more thousand dollars. Amen. Touch and claim it. How many of you go to churches that teach touch and claim it? Raise your hand. None of you don't lie now. <laughs> the Bible don't teach touching and claiming. No. Either God wants you to have it, or He don't. Or he don't. The blessings of God is not based upon the size house, the size bank account, and the size car you drive. That's right. You can have all the money you want, but if you don't have God, He's a poor fool. That's right. <laughs> Are you listening? Yeah, they are greedy dogs. The greatest wealth, and I want everybody to understand this. The greatest wealth in the world is the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of who God is. That's it. You can have your money, you can drive your car, you can have all the houses you want. If you die without God, Solomon said, your coming is in vain. In vain. And you will depart in darkness. And your name shall be covered in darkness. Bible said, I say an untimely birth is better than you. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And that's true. The preachers can never have enough. Never have that's enough. why they're always scamming. That's right. The, the religious scams, is so many of them I can't count. Oh, yeah. Even there's many of us social media that try to use my name. Hmm. They try to get you to give money, not to the church. It's going into somebody's pocket. They used it to hijack my name. Pastor Gino Jennings. They to hijack the church name. Mm. First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They to hijack the name of the program, the Truth of God program. Somebody gave me a letter, uh, I think it was Thursday, one of the sisters. It says she saw a website where someone had my name and asked them to send it to PayPal to their website. My Lord, my Lord. They have no fear. No fear. You don't have a dime that don't handicap God's ability from blessing you in any form. That's right. Do you understand this? That's right. So if there's any preacher you ever see on social media, and that's going for any preacher here tonight, <laughs> who may be scared to let us know you are a preacher. If you are preaching that racketeering prosperity plan, you're a liar and a Chicago hypocrite. That's right. And you that go to these prosperity churches... Pack up and leave and don't go back no more. That's right. 